cure cancer that may not necessarily be indicated. In other words, if we can turn cancer into more of a chronic illness, such as diabetes or heart disease, where you just take medication on an ongoing basis to control the disease, and the quality of your life is excellent, that may be sufficient. There's a new approach in treating cancer patients now called metronomic, or low-dose continuous chemotherapy. And the purpose of this is to try to inhibit blood vessel growth into the tumor bed. Blood vessels are required in order to provide the nutritional support that cancers need to grow. So if we can rob those cancers of their nutrition, then we may be able to stop the cancer from growing and from spreading. That's not to say that the cancer may not shrink. We still might have cancer cells in our body. But if the number of cancer cells is below our level of detection, so that our bodies can coexist alongside the cancer and our quality of life is excellent, that may be enough. is to come to the cancer patient with as many different modalities or treatment options as we have. So that's not just surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, but it's also nutritional support and potentially immune supplements to help uh, support the immune system, not necessarily boost it because overactive immune systems are no good either, but to try to support the immune system so that um, our bodies can try to fight the cancer as well. The problem is that, number one, there are no great case-controlled clinical trials using some of these supplements and immune uh, uh, boosters, if you will, and so we're really not sure what the best way to use them is or whether or not they really will be beneficial. There's some nice work out of the NIH that showed that using um, immune supplements along with chemotherapy or radiation is contradictory because in order for the antioxidants to be effective, excuse me, in order for the chemotherapy to be effective, we can't use antioxidants at the same time. So we do recommend for our patients who are interested in using supplements that are high-dose antioxidant, that we not use them during the time that they're receiving chemotherapy or radiation. We hope that in the future there will be some elegant studies which will help us pinpoint which supplements we should use and how we best can use them.